happy Thursday, everybody, and welcome to another Grace Life update. We're looking forward to this coming Sunday for several reasons. Number one, we're going to be having a guest reception immediately following our 11 o'clock a.m. service. We hope if you've been visiting our church in recent days that you and your family will be planning to stay over and be a part of our guest reception. The staff and I will be there along with some of our families and we'll be looking forward uh, to spending a little bit of time with you and having some snacks and getting to know you just a little bit better. If you haven't already registered for our Easter services, let me remind you once again that registration is already open. Our 930 service is becoming quite full already. So please take the opportunity and go ahead and register early if at all possible. Also remember that on Easter Sunday, we will not be having life groups or children's church. We'll all be together in those two worship opportunities, either at 930 or 11 o'clock a.m. Now also this coming Sunday, we're gonna be finishing up our Forever Faithful Sermon series. You know, in the culture that we live in, we're famous for not keeping our promises, for breaking promises. In fact, if you Google broken promises, it may surprise you that what comes up most of the time is articles about politicians. They've become famous for breaking promises. Well, in the midst of this kind of culture, God is known as a promise-keeping God. And the Bible has a term. They describe God as a covenant-keeping God. And so when all around you promises are being broken, you can be confident as a believer that God keeps the promises that he makes. Let me read you this verse from Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 9. We're told, Know therefore that the Lord your God is a faithful God, keeping his covenant of love to a thousand generations of those who love him and keep his commands. I hope you'll be planning to be with us this coming Sunday. We're going to look at that a little bit more in depth, what it means for God to be a covenant-keeping God and what that means for our salvation and our walk with Jesus. So I hope you'll join us either online or in person at 9.30 or 11 o'clock a.m. this coming Sunday. We'll see you then.